Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. I'm here with the Mini 2.0 from King's Loot. This is a minimalistic style wallet made for men, women, and very rich children who have some money just laying around. Now, it comes in a variety of colors. The craftsmanship is very high. The quality is very good. The price is not. And I'll go over a few other negatives that I think really stand out to me that can help you in your EDC journey. Let's go over some positives. There are a lot of them when it comes to this wallet. And believe me, I'm coming from the world of Ridge wallets. These are also very pricey for what they are. Side note, a lot of people might ask me, why do you buy such expensive wallets? Well. I like the artistic side of things. I was also pushed onto these by podcasts and their relentless advertising. So I did give in after a while. I'm a very easy sell. <laughs> and they were intriguing to me. To become a minimalist with wallets was very cool. After having bought these, having that pride of ownership, and in fact, I like them so much, I haven't really lost my wallet ever since these past few years. I may have misplaced them for a few moments at a time, but I've never lost them. I still have them. And I want to go in the direction of a leather style minimalistic wallet, which would be this. Now, this King's Loot Mini 2.0 is not the AirTag 3.0. It's just the regular 2.0. It doesn't, it's just more minimalistic. No AirTag, uh, very high quality stitching, full grain leather, got a pull tag here that kind of brings the cards up and then when you push the cards back in, the thing retracts for a nice, neat appearance that also mirrors this side with this elastic band insignia on the front. As far as design goes, I like the design. There's a lot of great things about it. I love this little D-ring tag here. It's kind of off symmetrical here, and it gets a little splash of elegance, in my opinion. I like the fact that it's vertical and not horizontal like everybody else has copied the Ridge wallet. So there is something to be said about some innovativeness and willingness to stand out amongst the plethora of wallets that are out there these days. Too many, and they're all rebranded from Amazon anyway. So I think Kingsley is doing their own thing. They're marketing like hell. I can't get away from them. But having said that, it's not a perfect wallet. Let's go over some other things other than this really nice stitching and craftsmanship. Um, what are some things I find wrong with it? When I put the cards in, I just put one card in just to test it. The card will come at an angle. And there are a few reasons for this. The first big reason is that's a vertical wallet. Yes, that's the reason why I like the wallet, but it's also its downfall in my opinion. The card has more travel distance to go. It's coming out this way and it's gotta go down all the way back. The other wallets here that I have, Ridge Wallet, is horizontal in nature. So you, they come out very little and they go down very little. And if you look here in the Ridge Wallet, there is um, these elastic bands that hold it very tightly in place. There's no cards in this thing and it is not rattling around at all. It's very tight, even after using it for many years. And these elastic bands take up more than half of these sides here. So what does that mean? Well, less distance plus um, not much room to play when it comes to cards going down. It's being guided straight down in a very short distance. This is a lot of distance and the band here is very thin. It's not very wide. It's about the width of my thickest finger here and I have small hands. So when you push the cards in, all that distance, where's the cards gonna go? Depending on how you push the cards in, the cards will go this way, out this side pocket here, or out of this side, and it'll kind of peek out that way. And you shove that in your pocket, it'll wear down your cards faster, it'll wear down your wallet more because they're not snuggled in the right way. That's the main issue I have. So this band here should be wider. And yes, it should be a band because it, or elastic, if it was leather, then it loses that plasticity, the flexibility to carry more or less cars at any given notice. So having elastic here makes sense. It just needs to be wider to help guide the cards in the right way and they're straight. Well, you could just rearrange it at the very end and kind of tap it on either side. Sure, you can do that, but I don't want to do that. It makes no sense. Anyway, it snags in one side, you gotta kind of readjust it. No, it makes no sense. So 
what else can you do? Well, you can kind of like hold the cards like that and when you push it in. And that way my fingers are doing the guiding. Well, that will dirty up your business cards on the edges before you hand them out if you have grubby little hands like I do. Um, I should not have to do that. Anyway, holding like this, you know, I hold it like this and I want to pull it in. So my hand is to come up here and push it down like that. Um, the ridge wallet goes like this. It's look how the, how less, how much less I have to stretch. And naturally, I don't have to do it this way. I hold it right here naturally and push it down. If the King's Loop wallet made a horizontal version in the leather format like this, it might be better. The vertical is a great way to try and stand out, but I don't think it helps them here. Um, what's another uh, negative that I find is that the corners here, it may be too exact. So if you put only a few cards in, they will stick out the tops of the corners here. The Ridge Wallet is just, I'm gonna com compare it to the Ridge Wallet because it's all I know. The Ridge Wallet is also kind of rounded at the corners here, but see how much sharper they are? This one is definitely more rounded. So it's gonna be less forgiving uh, and less accommodating to different kinds of cards. Because this is essentially pretty sharp here, it'll cover cards that are sharp and more rounded. Um, and also the Ridge Wallet is more tight in terms of the construction of the elastic and it's thicker so it's more pressure on the cards this one if you have less cards it just won't be as tough around the edges so they'll kind of spring up a little bit around the edges of the uh cards here because there's just can't be as much pressure it's very thin that wallet band if it was thicker there'd be more pressure maybe it'd keep the cards down where it needs to be um, so how could they avoid this? Perp maybe they could make this a little more sharper to accommodate different kinds of corners. Um, they can make a little thicker band there as well. Um, the next problem that I have is probably the most important problem, the price. The price is way too expensive. It's like 92 bucks and it was like marked down to 74, 75 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure if shipping is included, but nevertheless, it's still too expensive for what this is, especially with the oversights that I mentioned. I think for the same price, I bought this bifold wallet and there's more wallet, as I've said, for this one and as a pull tab and can carry a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, even though I want to carry less, I still like the feeling of this wallet in my hands. So again, there's a pride of ownership when it comes to this wallet, similar to the Ridge wallets. And it's different and it's cool for me at this time. I really wanted this to work. And perhaps I'm talking too much about this stuff, but I think that um, there's a lot of detail to discuss when it comes to EDC. So I hope this helps you guys. I think this should cost maybe half the price or at least be completely redesigned and give it some more rigidity. It's just too pliable the way it is. And I think it behooves you to carry more cards in this one than rather than just a small amount of cards that I have. So maybe not four cards, maybe five cards, but maybe like seven, 10 cards. This will still work really well. And because of the extra fabric down there at the bottom that you shape to accommodate more cards, it would be more snug and fit better and um, probably operate better if you have more cards than just the few that I carry. If you have a few cards, this bifold works well. If you have a lot more cards, this bifold also works well. There's just too many shortcomings when it comes to the Mini 2.0, and that's just my opinion. There is one more thing I wanted to mention uh, when it comes to these wallets. They come in very nice presentation, but in my opinion, I think it's overkill. I mean, <laughs> there's kind of an issue when I think there's more thought that went into the presentation, the box that it came in, versus the actual product that I bought for 75 bucks. I don't know, there's just something that kind of doesn't make sense here. I think I would be okay with doing away with the fancy boxes and everyone getting back to what's really important, the actual product that I'm buying. I think after Apple started coming out with years ago, their amazing presentations, I want everyone to remember that they did not go overboard. They did just enough to make sense for their very expensive product. These are wallets, okay? Uh, whatever item you're buying. For you guys out there that are making products, I applaud you that you're an entrepreneur, but presentation 
and the garbage that it comes in cannot outweigh the actual product it needs to make sense there's a mismatch here all right guys thanks so much if you disagree leave a comment below and uh, i'd be happy to read your thoughts all right see you guys soon